Relaxing, chill, sleepy. Today I'm going to hopefully show some helpful tips and hints on how to use the game, the in-game exhibit boxes, which do need some much given love. Here we're just going to do the single one. They can actually look really boring, just like this. Oh, look, they can really look amazing, like you'll see later on. All depends on how you do you use them and cover them. As you know, I do have a dumber and I over my word. I this it just practice fun and hopefully I can as the time goes on I'll get more and more confident in using my voice and you'll get used to my little stammers and stutters and, and pauses. Um I'm gonna do from now on there's gonna be a little speed build just to show you how this is done. It won't be so fast but I'm not, I can't talk the whole long episode. Okay, so enjoy the bill. show you how you detach the the exhibit box from the actual shell that you have made. Um, it is quite simple. Uh, I'm just keep going everywhere where I don't want you to go. Um, you click on this and you detach it like this. And then you click on the other set and you can just duplicate it. And that is your shell. You can use that on any other um, exhibit box. You can even use it as a shop on the shop boxes. 
or you just use it and just make up whatever you want. I'm going to show you how to put four of these boxes together. Um, it, you can't really have a completely open thing, but it kind of gives you the, the feel for it. You see how it goes. And you always have that part, but you can put them together like this. Yep. And then the way to get the fourth one in, you have to go to the party and delete the part that's there. And go back and delete the widget. There they are, the security. Uh, you'll think I've been playing this game for four years. I still can't. I'm fishing sometimes, and oh, I chose. To, you always have to go in to the same grid, and it'll always come up with this. And you just put it in, and there's a four together. And there's a four all together. And the pathing is really easy. You align to grid, and you flick any one of them. Any any one of the four, you just work your way around and you'll always be lined up on the grid. And that's your parking dump. This basically is the same kind of way to build. I have, but I'm going to show a new, slightly different technique of what I've done before. You make sure you're actually in the, the actual grid set. And again, I'm going to use the plaster pieces as there's more of them, and you can recolor them and do basically a lot more with these. But you can use anything you want. I'm going to go with this one, and I'm going to go in. I'm going to go on the inside and not the outside. And you can go on the outside. I think I've started, but I will be going on to the inside in a moment. There we go. See, you can actually... Oh, I'm not doing it all on the outside. I'm proving myself a liar here. <laughs> That's, this is how it will always line up. And I have heard people complain that they don't line up, but this is the only way it will line up. Then, ah, here we go, I do go on the inside and this is how it lines up. And it just gives you a different thing on the inside. And I find it does look a lot more pleasant. Gonna do a lot of pauses, and here we go. I could have to do around, go through all the pieces, look at what I want. And you get the idea of this. And I think I will take it into a speed build in a little while, but I'll talk you through this. This is the easiest bit. This is how you just decorate how you want. And there we go, I put it there. And I find sometimes actually just putting in the animals, I can see what I want. And I now know what the other one was. It wasn't, it was Greeny Guana. This is Pig. And this is how I find the centre spot. And this is very helpful. If you want to do like a dome over them, you can work from there. Obviously one's going to disappear within the, the actual thing. And you have another one sticking out. You can get rid of these if you want to, but I always find this helps when you want to do the um, like a stove or a, a thing on top and here we go, a little bit of decoration and this help, helps you to see this day in the grid like the first one. Uh, I think I can take this on to the next stage and do a little quick
once again this is how we send them from the group and you can see that it doesn't it's not as difficult as it seems you need to just click on them and split from group click on and split from the group and you do that with all four This is how you form the dish shell again for four and anything else that you've put with it. As you can see, it's simple. Now I'm going to take you on to something that's a little more advanced. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. You can do, you can basically you can do whatever you want with them. You can have a little, lots of fun. It's just remembering how the parfum works and how the parfum doesn't work. You can just put two together like that, or then you raise one, but you always go back and square. Which I've now remembered, and you have to take this, the height down so that you can move it freely to whatever height you want. I always go back one, so this allows for passing. You put two there, and the paths are perfect, but you can't use them. Um, no one can get onto them, you can't put anything to join on them, you have to do it a different way. And this is, um, always happens, and you always get, but you can go over and cover it, and just get the line flattened your surface, there you go, it's a lot flatter. But, yeah. Sorry, I've got a bit of a froggy bread. Um, probably, see, again that will do that, but you don't want that. And what you do is you press control and you look for the spot where it's um, blue. You then use the shift key and you raise up while holding the control key as well. And you go that way and it will link straight away. You don't want them to link if you forget it. But I've let that one link. This one I'll do a different way, you go round, take your time, and again, they're all, those two are joined together. This is a lot, it is a lot easier than you think. Take that back round, that will join automatically to that. It can be fiddly to use a control button and it will not connect. It will connect to that one instead. If you don't want that connect, you use your control. And you can bring them round connect like that. You can move the other To one side, you can disconnect it from the set and um, the grid, and you can move it along so it's more. You can have them a little bit space in between rather than close together. And this is the way that I fix the path, delete the one that was there. And this is not. This is a lot easier if you've got a free build. They just go in a lot easier. And it's always off a little bit, and I have not figured out a way other than moving the actual box over. So now you want to come down, just come down, and you just go across. You don't want that. Here they are a little bit fiddlier, and I always align to grid. Come across go across and you can go that way as well you can't go there because the path is in the way and then free build to allow that but that's a mod this is I am not using mods at all the, that's it you just it's a bit of a fiddle but you can get there just patience and it will come together that is one way 
you can see, they're all connectable and they're all accessible by staff and guests alike. And the next one is a little bit different. Um, show you that you can do quite a lot with these. Uh, I also find if you put them just close enough to the bath, the guests and staff can still use them. You don't have to have them connected to the bath. Uh, this is another way of getting height. Put one of those there, and then the next one, the next height. Then again, you put something on top, make it a little bit higher. There we go. You use the main, and you've, you've got three or four different heights you can work on. Also, helps with the pattern if you need to use this as a, a guide. The bottom one, I tend to want to rise up for you, so you could just get it just on there. And then you go across and up. Not so simple going up as you need to be in separate groups. You cannot or these are all set different um, grids. You cannot have them on the same grid because it doesn't work. And this the, the advanced tool would help you a lot more here, but I tend not to use the advanced tool that much. Do that. Oh, you can go up a bit more. As soon as they're no longer red, they're usable basically. Let me just take a little time, a little bit of fiddling. That's why I've got long pauses, I have no idea what to say. Um, now you'll see everything wants to connect to this one. You don't need that. And I've decided not to do the fourth one. Then you go into pathing. Now this is a little bit more tricky. But it is very possible. I do have a, a it is, parking can be very tricky, but it's also, I like the challenge. See, that goes to there, quite simply. That will not connect to there. But you can use that side, and the guests will look at the um, animals from that side. And this is how I will join these ones up. If I could make the semicircle. This one. Yeah, I do find it um, frustrating as well. The pathing is very good, it's just sometimes it just sticks for me, especially in diorama. Go to there, you don't want that, so you. That. There we go, and here we go, we're now joined to there, that's them joined. This is the last one, that you need to be joined up. It's not as tricky as you think. They're all joined, they can all be accessed, they're accessible anyway by this. This looks a bit off, a bit off, awkward, but they will use the path. That doesn't join. But you can take the path wherever you want. And do this.
This last example is a little more fiddly, but you can get the idea that you can basically do a lot more than just place them and make them look pretty and square. You can actually have them in all kinds of angles and all kinds of shapes and all kinds of configurations. They don't just have to be on one level, they can be all over the place. And this one I don't use very often, but it does look very nice when it's actually all set up and set up correctly. Just have to remember how I did it the first time I did it. This is where there's no movement, I'm thinking which way does this go. Ah, I still go. There we go. That's what I wanted. There, that's what I wanted was that down. And then what I do is I go into the path and then delete that one. And then I will be deleting the box if I remember rightly. One of the boxes does get deleted. I can't remember, I was trying to remember how I did this one. I haven't done it for such a long time. Now I remember, you delete the box. And then put the path in. It can be tricky, as it does Eventually, if I start to fiddle with it, to get a, a full path. There we go, fully connected. And you can have them at all different angles. You can, if this is what you want to do with them, this is just an example, and this is how I, uh, how I do them. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my very first, well, it's not my very first voiceover, but a little bit more relaxed than I have been. Thank you for watching.